okay, now I'm at Milan and now you can see how I travel. So you can see I have a big backpack. Uh, there was still some room for gears and uh, here you can see what I'm carrying with me. So I have uh, the Ebok extra large and I have a normal uh, bag and my ba uh, my other backpack so this holds all my spare parts and i still in my bag back i could have more gear unfortunately it's a little bit hard to demonstrate how to move with these things because when i carry uh, the next bag i'm gonna get it needs to have wheel under that so i can drag that as well because it's uh, quite stressful to hand to hold all that weight out. So what it costs uh, for me to take these bags uh, here was uh, one was included, one I got because I uh, had the, uh, well, anyway, uh, 20 euros per bag basically it's the charge and 55 euros is the bike bag so uh, it's quite re reasonable and the uh, airline tickets were something like 350 to 400 euros so um, I'm gonna pick up my car from Herd now and start driving to Finale okay hello I'm here at uh, Finale Ligure and this is the main square where everybody uh, comes to drink beer, coffee, eat gelato and meet other riders. So we've been here with our, our bikes and there's a lot of people around who are just interested about uh, how they are. So this is Ruben from Spain. <laughs> and he's been riding the whole day uh, I came here uh, a little bit later but but I get to ride one we pedaled up and uh, rode one one ride down and uh, <clears throat> and uh, Finale Ligure is a nice old town uh, you can see the old buildings this is actually funny these are painted on the wall the little uh, stuff so uh, there's the beach over there can't see it but uh, you can see the EWS is building up uh, uh, someone stole Ruben's bike <laughs> and uh, all the exhibitors are building up their uh, booth as well so uh, if you come to uh, uh, finale you need to uh, go here and uh, take some ice cream and uh, have a nice time to try to relax here see people there's a good bike shop over there and the other there's a I, I guess there's uh, at least three good bike shops here so you don't need to bring all the stuff so I like basic stuff chains the rails can be bought here as well. Uh, of course, they're a little bit, mm, I don't know if they're expensive, more expensive or anything, but they are pretty good equipped bike, bike uh, uh, shops here. So, um, until next, next time, ciao. Hello, so, Yesterday I didn't get a lot of few footage, so I didn't put it online, so I'm gonna continue yesterday, today. So, uh, this is not yet practice day, we're just uh, doing a, a, a spin? What do you call it, Lee? What is this? Why we're going? Just a little ride. Uh, I haven't ridden since Spain last week, so yeah, just stretch your legs and do some riding in finale for the actual race. Yeah. For me, it's uh, uh, good. Even though I have been here for 
uh, four or five times. I think it's good to always tune in for the the soil and the rhythm of the tracks. And uh, because even though it is the same riding, every place is different. The tra track builders are have a little bit their own insight about the trails and the dirt is a little bit different. Here is a lot of rocks and uh, yeah it's always kind of a little bit different if you want to race. So we're here with uh, uh, Ruben, Matt Simmons and uh, what Rob. was his? Ro Rob? Rob. Rob and, uh, and Lee. And uh, well, we're gonna pedal what, 800 climbing meters. Yeah. We, we first go to Gelato. <laughs> so, ciao. So, <clears throat> we went for a ride and uh, it took two hours and we climbed roughly 800 meters. And a uh, few things while we we're talking about the bikes. So uh, there's a couple of things that people are wondering uh, why there isn't any <coughs> sealant for this one or kind of a rubber. Uh, the answer is because you don't need it. This is not rattling. It's pretty stiff over there. This is not rattling at all. So uh, <coughs> you don't need anything there <coughs> and also if the water goes in here, comes out from here, so over here, so there's no need for, for it and uh, uh, my experience is that those rubber things, they wear out, they fall out, they give you trouble, so without it, it's just more simple. <clears throat> and uh, one more thing in the future I've added another hole Ruben didn't see it there but uh, you can use that hole to sa same way like you can see the uh, zip tie going over there so in the future there will be another hole so I'm uh, still going strong with my uh, uh, the prototype of the chain protection those marks are actually I dropped a few of these in the last race so uh, we put new ones and we can we want to see if they hold up with the current glue uh, <clears throat> on my bike I always test something new so you can see here this uh, this part here is glued from uh, so this is one and this is one here so here are also other parts connecting these this is not going to the production but I'm still I we make a lot of iterations with the uh, uh, design so uh, we want to learn new things so I'm, I'm I want to learn if we can glue here and what what happens to it in the long run so and uh, in the future, there's uh, like already ongoing update for the next bikes. So you can see it here. So this part is uh, just for the uh, <coughs> for the uh, dropout. So this screws into the dropout, so it keeps it in place. Some people complain that the dropout is uh, when you take a wheel wheel off, it goes. Uh, with the derailleur that was the, my intention that it is easy to remove the derailleur when you for example pack the bike so you don't need to screw something up because this already holds it in the place the hub so that's uh, gonna be an update soon on the rear triangles uh, <coughs> also on this bike it's already in production and uh, all the mediums and large frames are going out with uh, so you can see the top tube is a lot wider uh, than 
before and also in the head tube area there's more material around it uh, and those are the small changes so I'm testing a fork here and I have a 10 the 170 fork uh, from Fox and the 10 millimeter <laughs> ah, that's what happens when when you don't watch what you're doing so um, so that's uh, like a 10 millimeter uh, spacer because this is 170 and we're using 180 forks so uh, so that's about it that's what I'm doing here testing a lot of stuff um, well you can send questions to this uh, YouTube uh, uh, if you if you have any questions about anything so um, today we're gonna chill tomorrow practice day for EWS so um, uh, the what we did today was getting to know for the uh, the soil of the Athenala Ligura so oh yeah and I'm testing also about that testing the Michelin tires uh, not very ideal for hard pack but I've kind of a uh, I kind of like the, the tire anyway uh, this gap is obviously a little bit too big for hard packed so it kind of falls into the gaps but this kind of covers it a little bit so so other than that it's really grippy tire but I think in the race it will be more loamy stuff okay ciao okay so um, I came to Mavic booth and we're uh, changing my rim so I, I got a really big flat spot uh, well while I was training in Finland and uh, here's the new wheel so we're working on the uh, a free hub as well so uh, here is the wheel that I had so I get a really big hit in the middle of the uh, wheel it was it was fine but like I wanted to change it since if I have a puncture during the race uh, and uh, I can't get the tire on the rim if the tire gets off the rim so uh, um, so uh, so here's the bike waiting for to replace so that's uh, Lee's new wheel and uh, and uh, that's my free hub being built so uh, doing some prep for the race tell me that again do you want to special oil blended what spicy. what's in there spicy spicy yeah yeah <laughs> okay so uh, yes I want that. So we have our chef making dinner. Ruben is making pasta. Yeah, it's all I do. Yep. Eat and write. Eat and write. So uh, our apartment starts to look like a big workshop slash man cave. Uh, we could put those rims into walls, into the walls. So <laughs> it would start to look like more like. Okay. So, um, yeah, the bikes are ready. We are racing with numbers 190 and 91. So I'm 190 and Ruben's 191. So tomorrow is a practice day. We start 9 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I did some changes on the bike. I changed the fork. I wasn't feeling comfortable on the Fox. It has a had a, some kind of top out issue and uh, I didn't have time, enough time for test it so I kind of l let it go I changed the fork uh, for the t for the practice and the race so I'm uh, using the same old same old but it's a really good fork so I can trust it how it works I was riding this all summer and Whistler and everything Whistler was 
way more gnarlier than here. So, and I uh, put a five millimeter spacer under my uh, stack, the stem, so I could get a little bit higher. There's a lot of lines that were sitting down. Uh, before the before we uh, uh, left, I made this tool. So uh, one up has similar, but their the tool is smaller. So I modified for from one one of the tools. I made it compatible here. So I don't use any. I don't carry a tube with me when I go for a race. I always use these plugs, and I I'm been really good with plugs and uh, uh, I have uh, raced two years without any uh, tube with me I'd rather use that uh, weight for something else carry more water for example because that really helps uh, in the pump I have a CO2 here and also there's a compartment that uh, holds spare hanger and some pl more plugs because sometimes uh, when you puncture you puncture again and then uh, you run out the pun uh, the plugs because sometimes uh, even in the really rough uh, when we ride really rough terrain uh, I've used like Five plugs, uh, sidewalls, wall cuts, and things like that. So you never carry uh, too much of those. Uh, my favorite brakes, Trick Stuff Directissimo. Everybody's uh, wondering, uh, they're asking, what are these brakes? Really awesome. I have 180 millimeter uh, disc in front, so that's powerful there. Um, yeah, um, I think we're all set for tomorrow. The training starts nine nine o'clock. We start off with uh, uplift, then we need to pedal to some of the stages. But I think it's gonna be a good day tomorrow. See you tomorrow then. Ciao.